Hello folks, today we're going to interview one of Daisy YouTuber's rising stars that you certainly know as Jamjar. His videos have entertained dozens of thousands of players thanks to his humour and creativity. His celebrity is growing quickly and now he's counting 20,000 subs in only 5 months. Sit on the edge of your seats and enjoy the show. Hello Jamjar, thank you for joining us for an interview. What's up guys? We're really excited today as we have many questions to ask. First off, a question torments me. Why call yourself Jamjar? Well, it's kind of a long story. Like half of my family called me James, whilst the other half called me Jamie. It kind of got a bit confusing and I never really had a name. You know, like I would respond to one and then not the other and then vice versa. And in the end, I stopped responding to any name at all. So they said, you've got to pick one and we'll stick to it. And as I drew breath to kind of say, and pick one, um, someone just kind of said, Jam, it's half of each. And that was it, stuck like shit to a blanket. Can you tell us what was your first FPS game? Um, first FPS was probably GoldenEye on the uh, Nintendo 64. Uh, but short of that, probably like PC proper game was Black Hawk Down, uh, you know, Delta Force. Uh, that's the first proper competitive first person shooter that I played. Um, I used to run around thinking I was Josh Hartnett. Yeah, still do occasionally. And how did you discover Daisy? And can you describe your first experience in game? Uh, I discovered Daisy uh, just through YouTube. I just heard a lot about it. Just there was a buzz surrounding it, maybe like a year ago. Uh, and I was still a console peasant back then. And um, I was watching videos and waiting for the standalone to be released. Um, so I was kind of always ready to play. And uh, I got Daisy on release and uh, logged in. Had no idea what I was doing really and bumped into a guy and uh, he had a crowbar so I didn't really know uh, about bandits or heroes I was completely new I just seen some funny videos beforehand and uh, he said he was friendly so he approached me and I approached him and everything seemed good he hit me in the face with the crowbar and I ran screaming into a field in the middle of the night and uh, he chased me with his flashlight and uh, I just kind of laid there in the middle of a field bleeding to death while he kind of scanned the grass for me and um, the light like shined on me a few times and kind of I thought he spotted me but he actually didn't uh, luckily so he just left and went and killed someone else and I got away clean so yeah from then on I kind of knew it was uh, the game for me. And what attracted you to making YouTube videos? I think probably that moment um, when I was kind of breathing there heavy and I kind of had an adrenaline rush from that and I kind of realised this was no game like any other, like there's so many capturable moments that are, that are just hilarious or scary or just lo there's so much to see and it doesn't matter if you play Daisy or not, I was watching it a year before I even owned the game so I realised people wanted to see that. Who is your favourite Daisy YouTuber and or streamer? Uh, it's a tough question um, but my bias says Mr Blackout, I just love the way he plays the game and that's with a conscience. I don't mind if people play Hero or Bandit or whatnot, but I just think the way that he, the way he acts and the way he thinks back about things separates him from most YouTubers. What was the most memorable moment that you caught on tape? Probably my first trip to Northeast Airfield. I headed there and I was a complete noob. I had no idea what I was doing. Just found myself a Mosin, so I headed inside to a police, uh, uh, sorry, a prison building or a police building, whatever you want to call it, and headed up there and looted around and I had no idea what I was doing. I walked outside, saw two specks in the distance, had no idea what they were. I raised my gun to zoom in and see what they were and sure enough, they were just bandits and they just shot me. I didn't die though. I got away, got back into the building and uh, I holed up in there and there was a big standoff. I see him, yeah, I see him. I'm ready, I'm ready. And what was the most memorable moment that you couldn't catch on tape? I'm actually fortunate enough to have caught everything. I use shadow play. So uh, I actually, if I ever see something or something happens, I'm like, I need to capture that. I just hit the shadow button and it just captures the last five minutes of footage. So I've actually never missed a thing. Do you have any future plans that you could reveal? Well, I'd actually really like to do Twitch streaming, but currently my upload is so, so poor, like about one megabit. So I don't 
I can't really like stream 1080p. I can I think I can do 480p at an absolute push, but um, yeah, it's just not good enough quality. It's not reliable enough. So hopefully, if I can get my line upgraded or move to get that sorted, then that would be number one Twitch streaming. What map from Daisy Mod would you like to play on standalone? Well, I'm in the weird position where I only played standalone. I never actually played Daisy Mod, so. I don't know any of the maps. I know that's probably a cardinal sin to most of you, but hey, I'm a standalone only guy. What can I say? If you could add any weapon to DayZ, what would it be? Um, well, I was going to say chainsaw, but I think they're already bringing that in. So I thought of a new one, um, a blow dart. So say like you went to a pond and that there's like bamboo and stuff there. Perhaps you could break that down and you could craft it into like a, like a blow gun and you could make darts, maybe get poison from some kind of weird animal that they might introduce later on. I think that would be pretty cool. Of the features coming to DayZ, which are you most looking forward to and why? I think almost everyone is going to say vehicles, but personally, the part of the game that I love is the kind of camaraderie between friends and... So I like the whole campfire vibe, so I'm looking forward to having an actual camp to have my campfire at. And finally, do you want to leave a message to your fans? Just thank you really, like I never thought my channel would get above a thousand subscribers um, in a year, but, uh, let alone this many so fast, it's been so overwhelming but I, you know, I really appreciate everyone that checks out the channel you know and um, it's been an amazing experience so far so just thank you really. Okay thank you for joining us Jamja. Thank you, thanks for having me.